All right, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Now, we have a problem. Edo Khanate's still here. They still have a bajillion troops. Like, about 50,000, I think. And they have declared war on Cumania when we are honor-bound as fellow Zoroastrians to help them out. Now, uh, we certainly do have enough troops to beat them, but they're not in the right places. Thinking that all was fine and everything was over, I, uh foolishly disbanded all of my armies. Except one, miraculously, apparently. So what we're going to have to do here is we can pull up some of these guys. That's not a super bad idea. It's not a super good idea either going to cost us like almost a hundred gold a month but I've got nine thousand these guys aren't worth it to be yeah over that but we can use all of the mercenaries in the universe basically now I'm going I'm to pull up my troops in advance. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to just stand them up here in Cumania. Because... We are going to do this tactic where we just let them through for now. So we want them up here in Cumania. Basically. We want everyone we can possibly get troops for. over to Cumanian lands. Before we declare war. Now, we're probably going to get pulled into the war before that. And I realize that. I'm going to use my levies properly this time, eh? But, by the time that happens, we can have had quite a few troops in the area. And the main thing to do here is to not lose battles as much as possible. And we're going to lose a couple. That's just... There's no avoiding that. I'm 26. That's pretty good. How can we land this safely? So we want to land you here. And you here. More boats. Now how many total is that? Total, we got up 68. Uh, that's still not where I'd like it to be. So, 4,000. And we basically just want to postpone this as long as possible so that we can get our troops out of the way. Uh, I don't think that's a good person for that, honestly. Um, yeah, whoever this is. Marry them. Oh, I'd, I'd set this up before. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna pull this up. Just wait until they're in different provinces, at least. Oh, come on. Ugh. Now this troop, this this set of troops is going to continue to get bigger and bigger as time goes along, because of the. Oh, they're going to keep. Don't go that way. Okay. 
Yeah, curiosity didn't kill anyone, except him, apparently. What's the supply limit of this? 29. That's too much for 29. Awful provinces for standing around in. You actually get back in the boat and stop killing my mans. Why is it faster to go through there? It's a weird thing. Okay, so we can get this unit over there before these guys... Um, before they actually reach Cumania. I think I can do this. 32. So this is 54 right here. Probably closer to 55. With the partial troops. This is the guy just knocked off the tower. We'll probably get better. Is this the one that went on a rampage? Let's find him somebody stupid then. Right, yeah, maybe you can have a land. Okay. So what do we got here time-wise? February 11th, February 6th. So if I'm here, when that happens, Then if we all converge here, we might have a shot. Okay, we need someone competent ahead of each of these armies. Okay, who do we got here? And then we'll move down the list. Competent people. Until we finally get to the point where we have my son. I don't think that's a good idea. I have my really awesome son there. Well, the Cyrus is my son too. Hmm. Okay. Well, you guys gotta, guess, gotta give it the old college try, I guess. Okay, so this will be We'll see if February 6th rolls around where we are. Good. Okay. We are at 60,000. Okay. That did not stop him. See where we can get though. Send me men into the meat. Oh god. That was awful. No, that's 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 fine. He's gonna be there on April 19th. Take all the guys out that are going to get there later than April 19th. Let's 
So Shazad and Cyrus and Karen Army are who we want to go in there. Everyone else coming after. Hmm. Okay, who do we have here? Xerxes. Cyrus. not have leaders now. You guys could use upgrades, honestly. Okay. Hmm. And it's possible that these guys will help us. Just gotta go for the gusto now. 17th. Yes! Crushed! Ah! Uh, now all we have to do is chase them. We've got them. I don't care how many of my own men die here. It's simply too important. These guys were retreating already. Captured some more Mongols. 14,000. And they're going right into them. No, they're going to Omsk. That's no good. How do they get there? Okay, chase them. August 11th. Okay, so some of us will catch them. Yes! Okay, so now they're gone for realsies. That was what we were wanting before. So, everybody, chill out. Go back to your homes. Need some more retinue, guys. <laughs> 24, okay. You need to go like here. What's the biggest place I have? 52? 52 is pretty big. Okay, Baghdad and Tigris have huge, huge things. 56, so that's about the same. Okay, that cost us a lot more guys, but that's fine. You weren't done, Elf Eurekids. Come on, man. No, they're winning. Never mind. It's fine. What's going on here? At war with Vladimir. Okay, but Artie over here is helping them out. That's good. Are they still at war with Denmark? Constantly at war with fucking Denmark. I suppose that's fine. So yeah, I always intended to help my Zoroastrian bros, unless the, mo the Horde didn't show up in my territory. Actually, there are advantages to having the Horde not show up in your territory. I'm going to keep my money around, um, because... What's this? What's going on here? Who's you? Oh, that's alright. Um, it's just a county. Or a duchy. Or a city, even. That thing that's below all of those things. It's ridiculously stable. Why is that so stable? Earl of Weimar. Oh, because that's his only... Okay. Oh, he's just the king of Germany. I see. So, old... Empire Man. Malcolm II. It doesn't actually have any king titles. I did not realize that. 
His father before him had the Kingdom of Germany. His grandparents. What? This is so convoluted, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Needless to say, king titles were had and then destroyed. Yeah, it was destroyed somehow. I don't know what happened. How are you doing, Abyssinia? Peaceful? Hey, you got your war hat on. But well, that doesn't make sense. Well, maybe because he's... They switched to Ethiopian a while ago. They still got... Arab-looking kids. I suppose that's fine. Doesn't matter, man. It's about culture, man. Okay, so I'm keeping my money because eventually the Golden Horde will show up. Yeah! Your kids. That is a sweet name. I wish that was my name. No. I do mark. I do remark to myself about the similarity in the Kern and Karen names. I'm sure he's not. Oh, she died. Chugjijiba. He's complaining. He's a really awesome general. You sure you won't be my dude? Like, you wanna help me do some stuff? Hey, stop! I'm looking at this Mongolman. So you're residing in Turkestan. Do I have any daughters? I have a niece. There's a thing you used to do. You used to be able to do granddaughter, that works. You marry people to the Mongols. And then you become the Mongols. Your heir is the Marshal. This probably doesn't work anymore, but I might as well try it. As you know, let's not marry an infidel. Base reluctance. Da -da -da. So. No. And I'm not giving him any money. Because it would be spent. 20 gold? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he does have fewer realm holdings than me. You're right. He's got zero. He'll just hang out until the end of time, basically. Um, he wants to improve his stewardship. That's, that's very nice of you. I would invite him to my court and hang out as bros with him, but he won't let me. Cool. It'd be totally cool. If you were just Zoroastrian, I'd let you have Cumania. Those guys are incompetent fucks up there anyway. It's fine. What? What? White piece? Oh, right. That makes them still have their stuff. Mercy. Oh, these guys are Muslim. I thought she was blinded for a second. I was like, oh god. Is Greeks over there? Okay. Yeah, Europe's is a clusterfuck, which is kind of how I like it. That's pretty cool. Whoa. She's got some, like, laser beam eyes. That's from the Russian hack, I believe, yeah. Those kind of icy laser eyes. Did they win? Artie, did you win? Oh, white piece. That's fine. Oh, I could have looked right up here. Herp. Psh. See, see what I mean, Mongol dude? You would have been fine. Oh, and I did promise that I was going to give Xerxes the kingdom if he won the battle. He technically won the battle, but it's the only kingdom I have right now, so he can't have it. I was just saying that to encourage him. It seemed to work. Capture the Mongol leader. Uh, he'll go away disappointed. That's fine. What's this? Okay, Shah of Syria. Yeah, go ahead. Do a thing. You know what I should do? Let's 
just split this into two groups. Uh, those are very tiny groups. Okay, they all have about the same amount of guys. And then keep them over here. And then hang out over here. Because more Mongols are going to show up eventually. So you can hang out. Samarkand, you can hang out in Kiba. Then we're going to have to build more. Oh, that guy. He was pretty good. Alright, Zahak. You have a new thing. I have children that need teaching. They're weak sauce. Can't have your weak rubbing up on anybody important. Mm, about you. No, that, that Russian lady. More opinion. Wow, she is really good. Teacher. That is not who I wanted to click there. Let's teach you some. Yeah, that works. And you. Oh, you are actually important. Um, hmm. Staring down the Mongols has really got me thinking that Marshall is a huge premium. But I don't have any guys who are really good at Marshall. Oh no, never mind. I do. Let's say they're not really good at Marshall and don't have a good thing. So you go. You go learn the ways of your forefathers. That is war and, you know, concubines. Oh, come on. Jerks. I'm not going to help them. They can deal with this themselves. What are you trying to do? I don't want to kill him. Where is he imprisoned at? Can I convert him? Can I marriage him in prison? No. Can I actually have him educate my children? No. Oh, because I'm talking to the Mongols. Okay. Can I ransom you? No. Fine. You go back to the dungeon. Jerks. Ooh. Could I use a husband for you, the Shah of Cumania? I would say so. There we go. It doesn't matter if I do matrilinear, because it's a... It is a... Kern already. Karen! <laughs> See? I was talking. The names are like the same, man. Now, come on. I just fought the Scourge of fucking God. Well, that was Attila, but not really. That doesn't matter, okay? I fought some guys with horses. Stop being dicks, yo. Oh, come on. That counts as being a dick. You're gonna get got here. Okay, that guy got got already. There. Die. Oh, hi, Farabors. A peasant for revolt for Sugrav. Eh? Hey. Who are you? You're Sarkle, right? Yeah. Sugrov looks like an important province. I'll say okay. But I will expect you to deal with these things yourself. Just simply... Oh, he really does need my help. Um... Alright. We'll send some mans over to deal with it. Just, just for practice. Because we have to be at war anyway. Yep. 
peasant, right? So you're still Zoroastrian, so I can't edu educate. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way of fucking educating people. Killing them. I'll just let you out. It's not your fault, you're stupid. They get the broken spirit things. Anyway, so they're not very dangerous. Oh, Kimani is helping too. Psh. Well, fine. You deal with it. We're gonna stay here. Ay. Wait. Hang on. Ooh, that looks really bad. As long as they stay Zoroastrian, I don't really care who's in charge. And the attacker is an Alpyura kid, too, so they keep their cool name. So, I don't give a shit. That kid's a little, little dork, anyway. Yeah, they got this. That's fine. What's going on here in Byzantians? I guess they got Sicily back. The Vidian War for Prince Thomas's claim on the Byzantine Empire, which they are currently losing. Ooh, an Independence League War. Excellent. That's the kind of thing we want to see. Somehow, this stuff got mixed up in that. I don't think anybody's actually converted to Orthodox. No. I like the one Norse province here. See, it'd be cool if Iceland was just Norse. That'd be sweet. And then we get killed immediately in the U4 because of Holy Wars and stuff. Zoroastrian looks pretty damn big. Okay, so... While that's going on, we're waiting for more waves of Mongol... Oh, come on, dude. Just... Just go. And I'll let you out. You want to come to my court? No! <laughs> What if I give you money? Now will you come to my court? No. I guess you can't bribe the Mongols. Here we go. Of course. Kill them. Lose prestige, one of the two. Yes. And get some money. Uh... We aren't ready. But... Let us, since we are 63... Review our heirs, shall we? Right now we have Xerxes in charge. Or at the head of the class, so to speak. And he has a son. Who's really good. So if we think a generation ahead, he's even got a wicked scar already from jumping off that building. And we're teaching him. So I think the status quo is fine, because this guy has a lot of potential. But let's look at our other heirs to see who else we have. Now, I knew we had another son. Uh, um, where is he? Vondad is our army bro. Now, this guy's useless and crappy. Is that Faribors? I think it was another grandson. He's pretty good. Look at our heirs. Or our court. Was somebody with a different name? Um, it was the guy who just popped up. Solomon or something. Solomon. Our nephew. Who's married to our daughter. She's much better. Wow, he's incredibly good. But his sons are not the best. Plus, he's older. We're going to stick with what we have now. We don't need the stewardship. Which is... Salmon's strong suit. That was not what I wanted to click. Why are you doing this to me, game? You can learn some stuff. Learn from this guy from Hercules. 
I know that's not what it said. So much troop. Yeah. Now we got lots of dudes. It's been quite a while, so. Although the dudes we have to pay for are not going back. No, they're, they're full strength. I think. No. Maybe. Xerxes goes with a big army. Go like this. Cyrus over here. Okay, so they're already doing that. All right, good. That's pretty great. Could we replace Manuel with someone? Yes. I don't think you're going to see. I, I could have one. Uh, I could have an army with all above 20 dudes. Which would be the most ridiculous Raffle Stomp army you will ever see in this game. Not even the Mongols usually pack that. Well, sometimes they do. Never mind. I, I take that back. We had a 22 Marshall guy in our prison. So they probably do. 